don't forget I also do nursing videos lifestyle videos I honestly do everything anything I feel like it you know when they like stick to one niche I feel like I'm a channel you know how channels they got different type of like you know type of stuff that they put on there that's me you gonna find everything here one stop shop okay Welcome back to my channel. Sorry that my lights are going crazy because I cannot find the remote and maybe I should just turn it off. Hold on. Better. I'm looking a little toe up, okay, because I'm going to be doing a hair care video. I'm trying out new products. I also did not wash my face. I only applied sunscreen when I went outside um, because, you know, wear your sunscreen if you black, brown. You know yellow purple wear your sunscreen and i didn't want to like overwash my face because i'm gonna go hop in the shower and do my hair right so yeah side note i also have major bags under my eyes because i came from my two days two nights shift you know and then um after my last night shift i got like four hours of sleep so i'm tired like you know but i had like a small iced coffee i don't like coffee but like just to boost me up for this video and guys my skin has been acting up um, honestly, I, it was, if you've seen it before, it was way worse. So we're going to be going in depth in that in another video, okay? For this video, I'm going to be doing my first ever twist out class. So we'll see how that goes. The products that I will be using is the Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. Anyways, it's this brand, Ors. I love this brand so much. And um, I saw that this was a new shampoo, you know, you see, you see the new mark. And I'm just like, okay, let me try this out. What it says, it combines the power of nourishing olive oil and aloe vera for a double dose of moisture. Removes product build out without stripping hair. Leaves hair soft and tangle free. Can be used as a neutralizing or clarifying shampoo. And for natural and relaxed hair. So I'm like, this is made for us, okay? And I'm also going to be using their straight and nourishing replenishing conditioner which is also from the same company and this company is ours or original root stimulator I'm also gonna be using olive oil smooth and hold pudding I don't know we'll see how it works I'll tell you how it goes so this is actually from um, a seller my mom knows of basically what this is is shea butter and olives right the olive oil and shea butter and that's it it's just all it's like organic like literally that's the entire ingredient list it's just those two but that is what we're going to be using and i'm also going to be featuring hair love by quay's items so this is her hair vitamins and it's gummies and it tastes so good um what it has is it has vitamin b12 folic acid vitamin b6 vitamin e vitamin d you know get that d biotin 2 folic acid she has also sent me this brush, which is great for stimulating your hair and just like, you know when you're like having, oh my gosh, it feels so good already. But when you're in the shower, just stimulating your scalp helps with blood flow and this feels so good, guys. Moving on. So, the next thing she sent me that I've always wanted to use is this brush. Let me take out this, this thingy. Who the heck is raking right now? Oh my gosh, I gotta close my window. But I can't wait to try this brush. It like, like you know that thing. I want to see if it actually works for 4C hair. Because low key, I've been seeing people use this. And it's been like 3C hair. Or like, you know the ones where it's like the coils, you know. You you, you ain't got to do too much work. And I'm saying if you have those coils, you don't got to do too much work. But you know, if, if you have my type of hair, you got to do more work than, you know. Anyways, I want to see if it actually works with our kinky, coily, beautiful, 4c hair so we will see these scrunchies oh my gosh and it's silk and it feels amazing and it's great quality i can test it out right now oh you could do a double whammy so it has great elasticity who called who texted me where's my phone anyways okay this scrunchie has great elasticity i got some from walmart and it did not do what this is doing like i could not even get it um, twice around my hair and this feels so secure and great. I look like a little kid right now. So these scrunchies are really good quality and you know everyone could be using this. You know my white folks too. You know this is good for your hair. Your hair won't break. So make sure you get on that. So my natural hair queens know about the importance of having a great spray bottle because when we want to detangle 
optimization is that your hair is nice and wet so that it's nice and smooth to comb down so you know my hair dries up quick so to have that spray it down I can't wait to try this out last but not least the bonnet the silk bonnet and it's silk inside it is really beautiful i'm gonna actually try to a test right now because you know with our actual hair of course it will go in but i want to see if it will take this it is taking it oh my gosh guys it feels so good usually the scrunchy parts i'm like oh it won't feel good it's gonna feel so tight but this don't feel tight this feels good well, thank you for sending it to me girl you want to send me more you know what i'm gonna support i'm gonna buy it and i'll promote it anyway so we're gonna wash our hair first using these two products and i'll show you i'll be back so we back and i'm finished with my twist out i'm joking i took out my braids <laughs> I'm loving my hair. I didn't even really stretch it out. It's still kind of in the braid, but I'm just using my fingers to like kind of take that out. Oh, you can see some of that dirt in there. Kind of detangling it, dry detangling it before I hop in the shower. I love my hair. I love my natural hair. My natural hair. Oh, I don't know what I'm seeing right now. I'm basically taking all these like little dirt things, like just kind of finger removing it Ooh, Ooh barracuda. okay so now that my hair is nice and detangled and I just use my fingers to detangle my hair let's wash it so basically what I'm gonna be doing is shampooing first and then rinsing that out and I'm gonna do that twice and then I'm gonna put this conditioner in what I'm gonna be doing is like dividing my hair with my hand putting the the conditioner in and then detangling it using this brush so we'll see we'll see how this goes okay hey guys so I am not back from finishing everything I only just shampooed my hair and then I started using the conditioner and I did not like it guys I did not like it it was 11 48 p.m. Choppers closes like right at midnight and it has my OG mayonnaise like hair mayonnaise by the same company and I'm just like no I have to get it and I literally like in like five minutes getting there and back because it's so close to me got it before it closed so I'm gonna do my hair mayonnaise so this is the OG item that I've been using um, it's a hair mayonnaise uh, with nettle leaf and horse tail extract this feels really nice and thick i've already used it in my hair for like a couple of months like this is so good it's a great hair treatment i love this product and now i know i'm always going to be using it and not going back so let's continue okay guys i am back um I, I look ashy like my face looks ashy because obviously i didn't do my skincare routine yet and now all my moisturizer is gone but that's besides the point let me actually wear a shirt Okay, so I moved over to voiceover just so that I can explain what I'm doing. First, I'm parting my hair and taking a section. Then I'm going to apply that hair mayonnaise on. And guys, I do not do this sparingly. I do it generously, guys. I use like a third to half that bottle in my whole hair because it really helps with detangling. Then taking my wide tooth comb, I'm just using that to brush out any tangles that I do fine. And then using my fingers, I use that to just finger detangle so it's less breakage on your hair I did try the hair love by Quay brush comb thingy but it was not working for me really with the detangling process with how the tangled my hair was but I'm gonna review it more in the end then I'm gonna take that section I detangled and put it into a nice twist and then at the end I do my little swoop diddy doop thing and then I'm just gonna speed up the rest so that you guys can get the hang of what I'm doing but it's very simple and very easy of the detangling guys I still have to do my twists <laughs> God gives his toughest battle to his strongest soldiers okay and there we have it 
this hair and mayonnaise is amazing i can't believe i tried to go for that conditioner mm -mm. and this is how much i used so this is it and i used like as you can see like almost half basically half then we take a plastic bag we're going to walmart we're going to be using the walmart just to retain the heat i wish my life like it went remote we'll find it ready to go into the dryer ready to go in the dryer okay i'll be back okay so i am back from being under my blow dryer now let me just take it off oh my hair feels so good guys <laughs> i wish you could feel how moisturized it feels all this moisture is just in it it's just beautiful so i'm going to be washing it off with my twist on so do not unravel your twist honestly even if there's a little residue of it in it who cares like honestly it strengthens your hair so having a little bit in your hair adds like another protective layer um for your leave out style so yeah let's wash this ish out okay guys so i have finally finished rinsing out my hair it's still in the twist but it's nice and moisturized and you can see these little curls you didn't see that before okay look at these beautiful curls coming through poking through like this hair on my own is okay anyways um so now we're gonna go on to the twisting part so that tomorrow god willing it's gonna look good when it dries i'm gonna be like yeah okay okay so we're back to voiceover just so i can explain what i'm doing i'm just going to take a small section of my hair that i'm going to be working with using my trusted spray bottle to spray that hair and then the olive oil pudding which has a nice slippery texture again i'm going to review it more in the end to see what i really think but look at how it's actually giving me some curls and definition i'm loving it okay for now anyways i'm gonna take that brush to just comb my hair through and the brush is working doing you know doing a little pretty good job right now so maybe it is a keeper but again i'm gonna review it more in the end then taking the mixture of olive oil and shea butter i'm I'm going to use that to just put in that section of my hair to make sure that I'm sealing in that moisture you want your hair to be nice and sealed and moisturized and then using my um, sorry taking that same strand and twisting it together my little swoop at the end and there you have it and I'm gonna go through the rest of my hair and speed it up so that you guys can get the hang of it very simple very easy we are done so i'm just gonna let it air dry for a bit before i put my bonnet on this is the size of the twist i've decided to do we'll see how it looks when i take it out guys and i'm gonna do my makeup and you go see how your girl did her first twist out okay okay this is my first so we'll see hey guys so i am back it is the next day and I didn't feel B as you can see. Okay, check it out. Mm -hmm. This one is looking real cute right now. But um, I did my edges, I did my makeup, and now we're gonna unravel this hair. So let's see. Okay, okay. My twist kinda, you know, kinda shrunk up, which is normal. So now I'm just gonna unravel this. I'm gonna take whew, first the oil the shea butter and olive oil and I'm just gonna put some on my finger and just rub it through my hair a little you know keep it moisturized and there's a little on my finger so let's 
unravel this hair and style it. So I took the twist out and as you, look at that coil right there. That is so beautiful. Do you see that? Oh, hey, Teddy. But do you see that coil? I'm going to spread them out um, later, but first I'm going to just take the twist out. But look at the definition. Loving it. I'm definitely going to spread it out more, though. Trust the process. So all the twists are out. So now let's spread it apart so we can get some volume. Take this oil to spread it apart. Again, always making sure that I have oiled up fingertips. Ooh, I'm liking it. Oh, you can see the twist in it. I am going with the flow, eh? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I want it to be more like, you know? I want it, this to come down more like bangs. But basically, um, what my mom was even saying is that when I um, do my protective style, I usually like blow dry my hair out to go to the place and do it. So then after when they do that protective style, when I take it off, my hair is like nice and long. I can show you a picture right over here of how it looks. But with this hair, since I did it after the shower and then there was shrinkage, then basically stretching it, like obviously you're not gonna stretch it as much as if you blow dried it. So that's why it's like more like up, you know? Fro, not too like, you know, not showing too much length, but like more fro wise. But I love it. It looks so cute. Oh, I feel like I love it. Oh my gosh. It's my hair. It's my hair. And then you can see that there's like definitions of curls. Honestly, like I could have braided it. Like I lost all of that curl over here. Like, but it's whatever. I like the fro part aspect of it. Wash and go fro. That's what I'm gonna call it. My wash and go fro. There we go. And here we have it. This is the finished look. And my hair is nice and healthy. You can see that there's major shrinkage going on, but we love the fro look. This is my hair length. So yeah, there we have it. And here's the fro and here's the finished look. Your wash and go fro. And I love it. Here's the back. My hair is nice. It feels so soft. Okay, so first things first. In reviewing the products, we're gonna go with the shampoo conditioner. We already know the shampoo was a yes. It was able to get rid of all the dirt in my hair without stripping it. Um, it did feel dry, a little dry after it, and that's just because it's literally taking away all the product buildup, as it said, and I really love it. Like, you could literally even use the shampoo just once, and then you'll be fine. You don't have to do, like, the double. This is a miss, especially for someone like me who does not wash her hair frequently. I just wash it after my protective styles or before a protective style. So like, I don't need this. I felt like it didn't really feel as moisturizing. It may feel like really good for someone who washes their hair frequently, but that ain't me. The hair treatment mayonnaise, this is a key. I've been using this for months and it's a staple. So this is my conditioning treatment that I use for my real hair, my natural hair. I make sure to detangle with this. It feels so nourishing, it feels so good. It makes a huge difference. Let me know if you love this as much as I do and check it out, check it out. It's like such a keeper. For this one right here, in terms of making your coils more like defined, it did the job. It really did. Um, as you can see before, like it really did the job when I was like first unraveling my curls. Um, it looked really like, you know, tight curls, but I didn't want that look. I want it to look more puffy, but it still like kept some of the curls that were there. But not really. 
I have just like the 4C hair that doesn't really like show defined curls but this did that but I wanted my hair to be more voluptuous and puffy so I had to like separate all the curls that it created so depending on the look you are going for if you want more defined curls this is for you but if you want your curls to be like if you want like more of the fro look then I don't think you really need this this Go Natural Beauty from Nature Shea Butter and Olive Oil literally just Shea Butter and Olive Oil and it's amazing to just have it like right at your disposal to go I love this so now let's go to the hair love by Quay products so um for this product right here I would say it is good for when you actually have detangled hair so if your hair easily detangles this brush will be perfect for you but if you have tight coils like I do the initial detangle with this like is a miss like I would not purchase this for my initial detangle I did not like how flimsy it is and even with the piece on it I did not like how it still came off so although that piece was meant to keep it in place I find that it would still come off just because like when I'm detangling like I have tight coils so like it's just too flimsy for me but then in terms of when my hair was detangled after I did my deep condition with my hair mayonnaise and it was nice and soft and smooth it was so easy to like just run my hair through it with this and I'm like oh I like this so this is good for if your hair is already detangled and you're just combing through your hair um, or a little bit detangled and you're combing, combing through your hair but that initial detangling this did not do the job so I'm still gonna keep this and I have it already song so it's a keeper for me but like I wouldn't really recommend this for 4c hair I feel like you can find another brush that does the same thing that's sturdy and that can be used in general her scrunchies this is a hit. I love it. I love how stretchy it is, how you can get two good um, knots in it. Is that how you say it? Um, this is definitely going to be used. I love the quality. It feels amazing. Uh, way better than the ones I purchased at Walmart. That ish was doing nothing for me. So this is a hit. This product right here, I don't even know what it's called, but it's meant for when you're to rub and massage your scalp when you're washing your hair. It is amazing. This is definitely a hit. I love it so much. It feels so good on your scalp. It just smooths it in. Uh, I recommend this. It's really good and it increases blood circulation. So you good. The hair vitamins. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work for me. After I used it, I like was sneezing a lot. Like my nose felt runny, my throat felt itchy. So I'm like, am I getting an re allergic reaction to this? Like, so I don't know if there's a ingredient in it. And in terms of gummies, guys, the fact that like in ingredients, like, there's like syrup, sugar, glucose, and all that stuff. Like, I don't really like gummies that like, you know, are tasting good or whatever. Even though like, you know, some people would love that. I'm not the person that really likes um, vitamins that have sugar in it, that are gummy, like kind of like candy like. I don't like those type of like vitamins. That's just not for me. I take vegetable capsules that are literally crushed like plants that have different benefits to it from, but I'm gonna do another video on that. Let me know if you want that video sooner than later, okay? Let me know in the description. But this, like, I don't know, like, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm gonna continue to use this. <laughs> But for someone who does like the candy effect of a gummy, um, this will be perfect for you. If you can't take your capsules and you want something that tastes good, this will be good for you. Uh, but for me, to be honest, nah, I'm not going to be using it. This spray bottle, I love it. I love the mist. Can you see it? Okay, let me get this away from my 4C hair. I really love this spray bottle. This is so good in making sure your hair stays hydrated, especially with our 4C hair. When it comes to detangling, you wanna make sure your hair is nice and moist, but this doesn't get it so drenched. It gets it to the right dampness that will allow you to detangle your hair nicely, and I love this. This is definitely a keeper. Love this. This bonnet is a keeper. I'm gonna put it on so you can see that it holds my natural hair well you saw before that it hold held my um what's it called my braids and it looks so cute this is definitely a keeper i recommend this so much the band is not so tight it doesn't feel like even though it's a scrunchy material it's literally not tight it's like snug enough that it's you're not it's not gonna fall off when you sleep but it's loose enough that it doesn't feel like oh my gosh there's something like tugging on me and like i feel like the circulation like in my forehead is like being cut off like there's no lines there was no lines when i woke up with this okay 
so I'm definitely going to keep this and maybe get another one but yeah that's it for now I hope you enjoyed this video on my wash and grow pro okay and let me know if you want to see more natural hair tutorials honestly I'm winging it as I go the more things I learn I'm gonna share it with you all and yeah let's just have our hair grow healthy together okay but I'm definitely going to do a video with of my natural hair uh, before I do a protective style because I feel like that's literally what's going to optimize your growth is how you treat your hair before you get into that protective style. But yeah, I'm just going to keep puffing out this. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see from me next. Don't forget, I also do nursing videos, lifestyle videos. I honestly do everything. Anything I feel like it. You know, when they're like stick to one niche, I feel like I'm a channel. You know how channels, they got different type of like, you know, type of stuff that they put on there. That's me. You gonna find everything here. One stop shop. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna catch you in my next one. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.